Hi everyone. Boy, 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 do we have a lot to distract ourselves with. Senate bill botched tax rate 100%. Wow. So, you make $100 and you're going to be taxed uh, $105, I think. Well, it doesn't. Who cares, all right? We're getting screwed. We are getting screwed. We are getting screwed. You know, the details. Right? Sometimes I think to myself, does it really even matter? Because Americans won't stand up to anything. All of these sexual harassment claims and this Roy Moore claims he never dated underage women, disappears from campaign trail. Uh, Alabama GOP senator, I didn't vote for him, but he's back in the lead. In 2011, he said getting rid of amendments after the 10th would eliminate many problems. What the hell? Man, this, this country. Oh, tax bill to have generous credits for illegal immigrants? Really? Trump? Tax bill? Credits for illegal immigrants? What? I don't even click on these articles anymore because I'm just so unbelievably just done with all of the bullshit in our country. NFL whiteout. Can't see field. Stadiums look like ghost towns as attendance crisis continues. Snow squalls in Florida. A foot of snow in Georgia. Spoke to a subscriber today in North Carolina. She got her power turned back on this morning. I was calling her yesterday, called her several times. Phone just rang, 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 rang. She's got a landline. I was getting worried. Finally get through this morning. She didn't have any power since Friday morning when they were hit with, well, I don't know if she got a foot of snow, but I heard from another subscriber in Georgia. One foot of snow in Georgia coming home from the track where I walk today, I'm listening to the radio and on the news. What do I hear? Foot of snow in Georgia. And it was a surprise. Yes, a surprise. Here, fire threatening Santa Barbara. New evacuations, California burning, an illusion of paradise up in smoke. Surfers seek escape in waves and I guess this is the latest distraction. The U.S. media yesterday suffered its most humiliating debacle in, a, in ages, in ages. Now refuses all transparency of what happened. So apparently it was kicked off by CNN, then followed by MSNBC, CBS close behind with countless pundits and commentators and operatives joining the party. Throughout the day, by the end of the day, it was clear that several of the nation's largest and most influential news outlets, oh, the most news, uh, the most influential, that's scary to think that CNN, MSNBC, and CBS could be the most influential news networks. Oh, still, they're all getting lies, but they spread an explosive but completely false news story to millions of people while refusing to provide any explanation of how it happened. Yes. And what did it have to do with Trump, WikiLeaks, uh, WikiLeaks, uh, and Trump made a deal that Trump was going to get special access to the DNC emails before they were published on the internet. You know, since Trump has been elected, it's been so unbelievably obvious that mainstream media is a farce. It's a joke. It's a dangerous joke. All of the lies that they put out. And we still have Americans glued, glued to the TV screen watching this crap. Crap. So Santa Ana wins. They're strong extremely dry downslope winds that originate inland inland and affect coastal 
Southern California, and Northern Baja California, Santa Ana winds are known for the hot, dry weather that they bring in the fall, often the hottest of the year, but they can arise at other times of the year. Isn't it lucky that they can fall back and say, well, they can arise at other times of the year, and, well, they're arising now for a really long period in California. What are you dealing with this morning? Well, we're continuing to deal with an epic condition that we really have been seeing surely in my career with a wind event that uh, has sustained winds in the ranges of 50 to 60, even we've seen 70 to 80 miles an hour. And generally these wind events uh, last for oh, a day or two or three days, but this event has been going on for almost a week now. You know, the LA fire index, LA fire burn index is the highest it's ever been projected. An extreme reading is 162. You know what it is today? 296. Ventura, just north of Los Angeles, there a state of emergency has been declared. But actually here in the city, the affluent, infamous neighborhood of Bel Air is currently being threatened. Those multi-million dollar mansions that celebrities are living in. Entire neighborhoods in the city of Ventura have now been wiped off the map. Several homes in this community were incinerated, while others just down the street were untouched. While others just down the street were untouched. Interesting, isn't it? Ellen tweeted today that she was evacuating. She got all of her pets and was evacuating. And I guess asked for prayers for her neighbors. Oprah's house. Oprah's house is threatened. But California wildfire rages towards scenic coastal communities. Santa Barbara and Carpinteria and Montecito. <clears throat> All right, I posted a video just yesterday, last night, and in that video, I'm not even sure if I played this video, but I did say that uh, a fire official or whoever said that the Santa Ana winds finally died down You'll hear it. I'll play it now. Show you the map of what we're dealing with tonight. And for that, I'm going to bring in public information officer Brad Vine. And Brad, a lot is going on in this map behind us. But first, just tell me how are we looking going into tonight? Well, we still have about 143,000 acres in 10% containment. You can see that we do have some containment mine down here. But you can see the red area. We don't have uh, contained control around the perimeter of fire in the red here. So we still have a big fire fight and a lot of active fire out there that we're trying to mitigate. Now, I first want to point out, uh, for people that don't quite understand exactly where everything is on this map, let's point out this small area over here, Carpinteria. That's been the focus the last couple of nights. Some people were a little bit nervous that that fire was going to creep in either from this side or from down here. What is that case going into tonight? Well, luckily for us, this isn't a wind-driven fire as much anymore since the Santa Ana's have broken down. It's still a potential but there is a contingency area that we do have in Carpinteria area mitigating this and getting ahead of the fire in case that were to be an issue and progress uh, farther west into this area. Now, uh, we, we always use these type of fire terms, contingency. Can you explain to me exactly what our fire... All right, I'll link below to everything. If you want to listen to the end of that, fine. But he just said the Santa Ana winds have died down. Um, and I also, in the video that I posted yesterday, showed this article where they were saying that they were reducing the um, need for evacuations. And now, now, we've got uh, evacuations back up, parts of uh, Carpinteria evacuation orders have been issued. Santa Barbara is now threatened by the Thomas Fire. The Thomas Fire is only 15% contained. The Thomas fire has been going on for one week. The Santa Ana winds that, well, you heard they were finally, you know, done with, well, no, 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 they're not down, done. Uh, so we've had Santa Ana winds now going on for seven days. 
the Thomas fire that began all of these fires. Um, this has been raging for one week and they can't seem to get this under control at all. Are you pissed yet? Evacuation orders were issued overnight for parts of Carpinteria close to Los Padres, Los Padres National Forest, about 100 miles northwest of Los Angeles. Forecasters said wind speeds were expected to increase throughout the day before dying down again overnight. Local fire department tweeted pictures of a wall of flames advancing on homes on the outskirts of Carpinteria early on Sunday morning. Meanwhile, actor Rob Lowe, who lives in Santa Barbara, a city of close to 100,000 people, tweeted that he was praying for his town as fires closed in. Governor Brand's fire's new normal. Six large blazes and other smaller ones. And somehow we just can't seem to get through to our fellow Americans that something is very off with these fires. No. Uh, we have 800 homes and structures that have been destroyed. 98,000 people have been forced to evacuate. Maybe this is just for the Thomas fire, but I've heard 300,000 evacuated, 200,000 evacuated, 199 evacuated. The largest fire, the Thomas fire in Santa Barbara and Ventura counties, spanned now 173,000 acres. Only 15% contained. Are you upset? I am. Sunday afternoon, mandatory evacuations were lifted in the unincorporated areas east and north of Santa Paula. Paula. Um, so the Creek Fire is now 90% contained. The Rye Fire is also 90% contained. They just can't get they just can't get a handle on that Thomas fire. It's December, and it's amazing to be able to say we aren't out of the fire season. That is California Fire Director Kim Pimlott. And this is the challenge that we face in California, and certainly here in Southern California, that it is a year-round challenge that we are all in. Jerry Brown, new normal when it comes to wildfires and it's exacerbated by climate change we're facing a new reality in this state where fires threaten people's lives their property their neighborhood and of course billions and billions of dollars a very wonderful place is california but a place that's getting hotter it's getting hotter we're about ready to have firefighting at christmas this is very odd and unusual. I want you to watch this. Hopefully we can reestablish that. Let's uh, move on to more breaking news. This time in Santa Monica, a popular hotel and night spot has caught fire. Fire crews rushed to the Huntley Hotel. That's where we find Kate's Lake Fire's Kimberly Chang. Kimberly, what's the latest at that scene? Mark Murdy, a patron, told us that the restaurant bar area on the rooftop on the 18th floor was packed when the fire broke out on the exterior. They were told to exit the building and they walked down the stairwell. Now, let's take a look at some video that we received earlier today. or rather. Okay, a fire breaks out on the exterior of a hotel in Santa Monica. You know what? I actually think that I had dinner with my stepfather when I was 19 years old in this hotel, in that restaurant. Okay. Um, Santa Monica, a fire breaks out on the exterior of the hotel.
while all of these fires are breaking out all over Southern California. I don't hear very many people asking why. The look look at the distance between all of these fires. Now, I believe they have the San Diego fires uh, pretty much contained. I mean, they've removed some of the. Yeah, the lilac fire is 60% contained. The lilac fire actually killed an awful lot of horses. The Liberty fire is 100% contained. Okay. Are you going, are, are we really going to listen to Jerry Brown claim? that the reason for these fires is climate change and we're just going to have Americans sit back and listen to that crap. Really. Don't you think it's a little unusual that all of these fires break out in Southern California pretty much at the same time, the same time, look at the distances between these fires And we have Americans that are not questioning that perhaps these fires were deliberately set. Not questioning how it is that we could have these Santa Ana winds that go on for a week in December. Do you hear very many Americans asking what caused this? So they just listen to that, that Jerry Brown claim that it is climate change and we're going to see this as the new normal and people are just going to sit back and accept that. I'm including this video because I don't know, you know, after reading some comments, I posted this video when the Northern California Northern California fires were breaking out. And this is a radio interview with someone who claims that Deborah Tavares had contacted him and she emailed him saying that she was evacuating because Deborah Tavares lives uh, in this area where the fires broke out in Northern California. But I have to tell you, I don't know. I don't know if what we were hearing was the truth. Unfortunately, we do have an awful lot of Americans who just lie through their teeth. So, um, and based on what I've heard from others, I emailed Deborah Tavares hoping, you know, that she will just email back and say that she's okay and I will let you guys know but I am very concerned about Deborah Tavares her absence the suddenness of the absence not hearing from her at all yeah I'm very concerned so I don't know what to believe about this interview I do want to point out to you, does this not look strange? How is it? How do fires leap over other homes and ignite kind of in the middle of a neighborhood? How does that happen? And you will see, you know, you just watch this video and you will see that somehow the fire from where started. And you can see how 
selected this fire is. All the houses around the yes. perimeter are not touched. And we have Americans who are not questioning this. I will link below to this video, which is very, very good. Weather war, terrorism, laser, torched, smart fires, a plain truth dot info. And I sure hope that you watch it because you'll see lasers doing Oh, and the type of temperatures being lasers that are um, that they can literally just rip the paint off metal, rip the rust off metal, and then you will see the lasers used. how precise is the laser and it doesn't depending on you know the frequency being used it doesn't affect the wood at all but can literally just clean metal you'll see lasers cutting right through metal you know everything that we see look at the clouds in the sky Look at how they slice those clouds. You see the defined lines. I mean, that should beg questions in any adult's mind because Mother Nature does not operate working with defined lines. That's not how nature works. So it's the frequencies that are causing that, what we see in the sky. And we know that with the use of directed energy weapons, they can certainly cause one home to burn down to the ground and the homes around it and the trees around it untouched. So I can't, I, I, I have been looking for um, a map of the mega regions and this is uh, the America 2050 which I will link to America 2050 Northern California mega region all of the mega regions this is under the United Nations plan, which has been implemented for years, now being implemented with a rapidity that is head spinning, certainly in California. So the plan is to shuffle everybody into herd, herd, herd the sheep into these mega regions. There are 11 of them. And I was trying to kind of line up the mega region with a map of Southern California. And I'm not entirely sure where the boundary of that mega region is exactly. because there are no boundaries. There's the gray areas where people are not going to be living. The Southern California mega region is all in yellow, extends to Las Vegas. The principal cities of that mega region is Los Angeles, San Diego, Anaheim, Long Beach, and Las Vegas. So where do we see Anaheim, Long Beach, San Diego, Los Angeles, all south of Los Angeles. Ventura is burning up. Ventura. And this is Santa Barbara. Um, and zoom in a little bit more. 
Carpinteria. So interesting that the Thomas fire north of Los Angeles is the only fire that they just can't seem to get under control. It's only 15% contained and now heading to Carpinteria, Santa Barbara. You know, yeah, I often go to Intelecast. I just want to see, it, you know, we know that all of the the chemtrailing is going on, but they have layers and you can do earthquakes, you can do wildfire detection. So I did. And there are there's an awful lot of fires going on. I tried to check out the fire here in Hawaii and I don't know if it was just designated this way on Intelecast because there was a home fire. I couldn't find any kind of uh, wildfire or any kind of massive fire going on. But when you look at all of the fires, uh, look at these fires in Africa. And we still have fires in Portugal. Portugal is burning up as well. You know, I did a video including Portugal fires when we had the Northern California fires. So now we still have them taking pictures of the fire devil capture, captured on camera. They had a fire devil captured on camera eight weeks ago. So they claim Portugal is burning up because of their widespread drought. California, it's the drought. And we still can't get our fellow citizens in our respective countries to take a look at geoengineering, take a look at the chemtrails, take a look at the microwave frequencies that we are all saturated in. Just take a look and find out that they are dumping chemicals and heavy metals that make these fires far more incendiary. Please take a look at the microwave frequencies that actually dry out, dry out. Hell, our eyes, my eyes have been killing me today. but the microwave frequencies killing the trees that another cause of why these fires are so difficult to contain if people would just finally take a look at the United Nations Agenda 2030 plan if they would just do some research to find out that there are far more scientists around the world who dispute this climate change, global warming hysteria coming out of mainstream media and our government officials like that disgusting, res re oh my God. I, I, I just, I don't even have any words for how disgusting Jerry Brown is. It's the new normal. Well, you can have a politician saying that when that politician knows that man with this technology can control the weather. When we have scalar weapons that can produce 60, 80 mile per hour winds. When they know all of the causes of these fires and then they stand up and they lie to our face. Yeah. Yeah. This is getting hard to take. <laughs> I got a comment from somebody who said, you know, you might just want to post something positive sometimes. Really. Really. Positive. 
when you actually know people who are suffering the consequences. What would you like? What would you like, sweetie? What would you like me to post? For you. So that you can feel good. All links are below.